I'm a product of a bitter baby mama. My mama was a bitter baby mama to the to the max. Uh, my mama hated my dad so much until she hated me. She pushed him away, but she kept herself out of my life also. Got a child that's in the middle, and now you creating this whole dysfunctional lifestyle for this child. Yeah. And what you don't realize, this dysfunction carries on. So now this child is going to become an adult, and now they dysfunctional. So sad to say, you know, they, they say all the time, you only get one mother, but you also only get one father, too. Yeah. Now today he just cutting up. You know what? CJ is supposed to be here to keep you on point. Wait, but then again, CJ, he, he ain't set, no man. better sometimes either. So set, hey. Well, you know what I mean? Well, <laughs> well, CJ couldn't make it tonight because his Instagram got hacked. It was recording of him having sexual relationships <laughs> with himself. <laughs> <laughs> you know what El Plaga he, he, he said grunting. he said don't worry I turned my back too you don't know, forget both of y'all <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, you know I'm here look yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, was, he was recording talking about mm, okay sweet foot <laughs> oh man this is your podcast man this <laughs> so look video video number three is it ready so, Yes, yeah, ready. Okay. Stop interrupting. All right. Jeez, just like a black woman. What? Mm. <laughs> All right. We got a man that's explaining that his mama was a bitter baby mama. Uh oh. Uh oh. So many of them out there. Yeah. And he's telling us exactly what he went through. Okay. You know I mean? Let's hear this, y'all. We gonna let Peanut kick this off? All right. Let's let Peanut. Kick. <laughs> it's this jump podcast. Oh. Let's go. What's good, my friends? We back again. Thanks for stopping by. I'm a product of a bitter baby mama. My mama was a bitter baby mama to the to the max. Uh, my mama hated my dad so much until she hated me. She pushed him away, but she kept herself out of my life also. Um, when I first realized that my mom was a bitter baby mama, that was devastating to me because oftentimes... Men get labeled a deadbeat, but if you look at it, my mama was a deadbeat because of what she did and the angle she took. Because when you when you go that route, you really beat your you really beat your kid out of both parents because you push the, the dad's gone and the kid can't really get the true mom because she has so much hatred and bitterness and anger in her. So she couldn't really. So if you ask me, my mom really couldn't love me like she should have because. She had no room in her heart for for me because she replaced it with the same anger that she had for my dad. So here it is. It's, it's, it's July of 2024, and I haven't seen or talked to my mom this year. Um, my spirit doesn't connect with her. Uh, I never think about my mom. I never miss her. Uh, she never comes up in my, in, my, in my mind, and I know I shouldn't feel that way, but I do. Uh, so ladies... When you when when you go down this route, you know, as a single parent, and if you have so you have anger towards your toward, towards the father of your kids, I want you to think about me, because what my mom did, it changed the whole course of my life. The person you see is a result of what she did. That's crazy. Selfishness, man. Right. You know what? He Point looked like he looked like man. Jonathan Majors. <laughs> You think so? Yeah, he did to me. Oh, shit, I thought he looked like Lee Majors. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but you know what? That's crazy because you know what? I mean. Th that is so common. It's so common and it's so heard too, all too often where you have these women, they get upset. And a lot of times these women, they get pregnant. And I, I know women that were, or females that would get mm -hmm. pregnant by the guys. For the premise of, okay, you know what? If I get pregnant by him and have a baby, it's going to keep him around. No, it does not. But see, uh, those are the ones who don't know the damage that they do. Right. When their but children now you get got older. the child that's in the middle, and now you creating this whole dysfunctional lifestyle for this child. Yeah. And what you don't realize, this dysfunction carries on. So now this child is going to become an adult, and now they dysfunctional. So sad to say, you know, they, they say all the time, you only get one mother, but you also only get one father, too. Are you going to deal with your own mental health or keep dealing with this? Yeah, well, they got to grow at some point. Baby mama. Hold up. We got this comment. You know what, CJ? You get on my nerves. He just said he looked like Big Red from the Five Heartbeats. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, hey, if you to bust out, start singing oh on your ass, boy. <laughs> but you know what? Like, yeah, but that's just this is just all too common because now you got you got these women that that are so disgruntled, and you know they just because they miserable, mm-hmm. they want to mm-hmm. make everybody else miserable. So now you know you got the father because they're not emotionally stable. <clears throat> now they're going to leave, and now you got the child, yeah. like he said, that don't have a a, a good lifestyle. And or a good relationship with either mother or father. Yeah, that's why it's so important for men, uh, us men, man. God, man, we gotta we gotta stop just knocking off these fucking. Oh damn, I ain't mean to curse. Hold up, these hoochies. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait Sorry, a minute. Doing because it with protection. Video protection. number one and two was about that. Y'all just look. Didn't I just say that? Using, but I mean, ain't nothing wrong with oh, it getting you a little thingy thing. See, you a little y'all bit like, of y'all, uh, y'all like these three taco fours. sauce. But I mean, you still gotta, you know, I mean, you got you got to use protection. But y'all don't, and then y'all be leading these girls. See, he quiet. See, that means you know it's the truth. And then y'all be leading these girls on, thinking that they, that is something that it really isn't. And then when y'all keep tipping and tapping, dipping and dabbing, and then what happens is these chicks thinking, okay, you know what? I got a future with him when at the end of the day, you just trying to get you off. Like, come I'm on. Just, I'm just trying to get my taco taco. Oh, my God. <laughs> you, should not, mean, you should not have a taco. I have a taco. Well, I'm just trying to get my pickle pickle. <laughs> I'm trying to get my pickled pickle. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. I mean, but you know, you, you know, it, man, <laughs> man, you know what? Next video. Really? Really? <laughs> All right, let's go to the comments. Oh, let's go to the comments. All right, so the first comment is from an unnamed user. It says, people need to start calling out their mothers that's true. more often. Yeah. And that's the truth. Yeah. For real. For real. If, if your mom is a gut, I mean, no good for nothing right. Jezebel, call your mom right. out. Right. Because these women are just as bad and, and disgruntled and whatever name that you want to call these yeah. men they just about as bad as they are yeah i mean we got we remember we seen videos of moms faking uh, pregnancy tests oh, and stuff yeah. like that i mean yeah with adult children come Crazy. on man yeah call your mom out after after the after the fact it was like wait a minute uh you don't need to know about that what you mean i don't need to know this is my life like yeah. how you gonna hide who my father is all these years i remember that video yeah. it was that boy yeah that's what i'm saying call your mama she was like why you do that obviously she was hiding something that that mom <laughs> yeah she was hiding something that mom you a heifer <laughs> you're a lying heifer <laughs> <laughs> so we <laughs> so comment number two comment number two from crn ray my mother was and still is a bitter baby mama she literally blames everything on my father and consistently tells me and my twin she wish we were never born wow ain't that some bullshit that's crazy ain't that some bullshit that's crazy so you know it sounds like she got some hatred within herself and you know what she yeah. got some healing she need to do because that's some crazy crap to tell somebody like yeah. your kids at that I wish you were never born that's like, crazy oh stop fucking no that's going to continue to happen <laughs> <laughs> no, so what we got so, so let's go to one last comment so one last comment from bless black african 86 s-h-i-c-i-t can't like i can't spell right mm-hmm. now i am 38 and i am the same way no contact with my so-called mother and sister i no longer feel anything for either one of them wow and and that's messed up man that's messed up once again like i said it's like you know it's just pretty much setting that person up when when you're not around or you treat a person like crap what makes you think that they going to be part of your life once you get older they're going to want to get away from that but you know what a lot of these single mothers do not think like they don't think about what they're doing to these children all they think about is themselves they yeah. don't they don't think about 15 the trauma, 20 years right, from the trauma, now the, 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 the emotional yeah, the, yes, trauma that this yes, child gotta go through yes 15 20 years from now my child is going to hate me they don't think you know about I mean? it. all of the lying the right. years of lying you know what I mean? Your dad wasn't this. Your dad wasn't that. And then once that Look. child talked to their father and get his side of the story, 
So this is my it hits thing. the fan. Because once again, we we had this discussion before. Like I said, I'm a product of you know that type of situation to an extent. Yeah. Like I came from a family where okay, mom and dad was married, but then at some point separated and got divorced. So then it was like okay, mother was like that, mm-hmm. right? However, my thing is is as the responsibility has to fall on both mom and dad at some point because yeah. it's like okay women please you got to understand whatever situation or whatever happened between you and the, the child's father has nothing to do with the child but you can't treat these kids like they pawns and that's what happens because yeah. now you got these kids that's in the middle of this battle and now they're they're forced to choose mom or dad, or dad especially yeah, when they're yeah, young yeah like come on that's crazy look that's why we got so many guys out here that's like you and cj with these 304s <laughs> yeah right <laughs> see we like this are we together hey i got mama issues now i'm gonna keep giving you this rock <laughs> <laughs> this your podcast, man. Yeah. yeah, I mean, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Y'all tell us what you and think. And subscribe. Yeah, dang, God damn.